first down. That highlight, last Halloween, October 31st, 2021 at Lucas Oil Stadium, Titans and Colts. And a Derrick Henry you've come to rely and depend on. That same Derrick Henry that in his last five contests against the Colts, 128 carries, 611 yards, and three touchdowns. This one was a battle last year. But near the end of the first quarter, there was a carry where Derrick Henry didn't feel quite right. Colts have the football at their own 32-yard line. Some real interest on the tight sideline. Derrick Henry has removed a shoe and is being at Amy Will. On. Mikey, if they're looking at his right foot, they're taping it is what it looks like. I'll let you know when I get more information. Derrick Henry would get the foot taped up and would continue to play throughout this game as it went to overtime, 34-31. Derrick Henry had 28 carries for 68 yards, only to find out as he left the playing surface that he'd broken the fifth metatarsal in his right foot and it would require surgery with a steel plate and five screws. He would miss the rest of the regular season. So Derrick Henry worked like nobody could and got back to the playoff game against the Cincinnati Bengals to have things abruptly end. So to say that he's been a man on a mission in 2022 is an understatement. So how did he feel that day when he left Lucas Oil Stadium nearly one year ago? Um, one foot felt different than the other. And <laughs> I wanted to figure out what was going on. So. You can tell that that's not really on his mind. In fact, he feels like he's ready to break a long run like we've been used to seeing. I mean, yeah, I mean, as long as we you know, stick with it and continue to do the things we need to do to be able to have those big plays, um, then I think it, it will eventually come. I mean, but you got to take care of the little things and make sure we're doing what we need to do to have those big plays. He knows his Colts defense is going to be tough to do that against being ranked third in the NFL, allowing just 77 yards per game. Yeah, I mean, it's always about in the trenches. And um, like you said, they're, they've they been good in, um, in run defense. And we know it's always a challenge. It's always been a challenge. So you got to get your mind right um, for Sunday. And, you know, it starts right here. So just trying to do that until Sunday comes. What have the Titans been up to since they last played? Get caught up on Titans Countdown when we continue. <laughs> John, the Indianapolis Colts are slightly different from the team that you saw twice last year. For our Titans radio audience, can you describe how you feel they're slightly different from a year ago? Yeah, I mean, they've added some pieces over there. I think the offensive line is, is pretty much intact from what it was last year. Taylor's back. I mean, he's an outstanding running back. Him and Hines coupled together. You know, Pittman's back. He's off to a good start. They're incorporating these tight ends a little bit more. Granson is, is really improved. Um, they've got their rookie Woods who caught two touchdowns against Kansas City. You know, and defensively, it's a fast group. It's a fast group up front. Picked up um, Gilmore in the secondary corner. Um, so they've got a little bit more veteran presence on that side. And another year, you know, kind of in an overall system of pressure, um, although it's Gus Bradley making the calls instead of Eberflus. So guys come in, and even veteran players, it takes them a while to sort of get their rhythm with a new team. It looks like Robert Woods is doing that for you right now. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's, you know, even going back to the spring, he's, he's really immersed himself um, in our offense, what we want to be, how we want to play. He and Ryan have developed a better relationship. You can see it even at practice, just knowing where they're going to be. That's such a intricate part of the passing game is the comfort level that the quarterback and the receiving core have. You know, I, I know he's going to be at this spot on this play. I know it, this guy's going to be at that spot on this play. You know, you rep that in practice, and the more you can hit those once you get into the game situation, uh, you can execute it hopefully pretty cleanly. Let me ask you about a couple of new Titans that we will see today. Defensive lineman Mario Edwards, what does he add to your rotation? Yeah, I mean, he's played a lot in this in this league. He's been a disruptive player up front. You know, he's played really all along the line from three technique to four to five. I mean, he's probably been in, in on the nose a little bit too as a quick guy. Um, but he's got um, really good hands, plays a really good pad level, good get off, good off the football, disruptive player, and goes 100 miles an hour. Um, we'll roll him around a couple different spots today, you know, trying to help, you know, trying to help the front. Danico Autry, his former teammate with the Raiders, said, He's a lot like me. Do you agree? Oh, he's not as tall as Danico, but yeah, I think schematically and skill set wise, they play the game similarly. They're really, they're both really good with their hands. They use their length well. 
Um, they anticipate the set of the offensive lineman. They try to capitalize on maybe a miscue or a false step here by a lineman and, and try to attack that. And uh, we're going to need a good game from both of those guys today. Veteran linebacker Joe Schobert is now a Titan. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy who's, you know, he's had a couple opportunities, you know, since you know training camp ended. Uh, he, he's played a lot of football. He's extremely intelligent. He's came in and picked up, you know, our system well. He's a good tackler. Um, he's instinctive. He's just an instinctive defensive player regardless of the scheme. Um, and, you know, we'll see. Hopefully he adds out there today and makes him put some guys on the ground for us. Finally, as we wrap up, John Robinson, what do you hope to see the Titans build on today here in Indianapolis from last Sunday's win over the Raiders? Yeah, I mean, I think really the first half we got off to a really fast start, you know, offensively and defensively. I think we gave up a score early, but we bounced back and got some stops. Um, it's really continuing the first half performance over into the second half. Um, we just kind of dried up a little bit uh, times um, on both sides of the football, uh, offensively and defensively in the second half. But that fast start is so important, and we've just got to carry that over uh, into the second half of the game today. As the Titans get ready for this one, so does our crew. Titans Countdown, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans, continues next. This is Titans Radio. Stream today's Titans game and all Titans games on the new 104.5 The Zone app. Welcome back to Titans Countdown, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans from Lucas Oil Stadium, where the Titans and the Colts kick off in just a few minutes. Alongside Rhett Bryan, I'm Amy Wells. It's time to take a look at the AFC South Notebook. In Houston, defensive end Jerry Hughes says that a lot of the Texans' issues on defense come from poor technique and not playing disciplined football. He says that the key for them is to think less about the nuances of a play call and instead just execute what they are asked to do. And today's opponent, Indianapolis, the Colts offensive line have put an increased focus on protecting quarterback Matt Ryan this week. He's been sacked 12 times so far this season, fourth most in the NFL, and head coach Frank Reich says that that stat is uncharacteristic of their team, their obvious uh, communication issues that need to be addressed, and they'll need to find a way to get all 11 guys on offense involved and working together. And in Jacksonville, quarterback Trevor Lawrence was named AFC Offensive Player of the Week for Week 3 after the Jags' 38-10 victory over the Los Angeles Chargers. The Jags' 38 points were the most of any NFL team in Week 3, and Lawrence had a passer rating of 115.5. That's your AFC South Notebook for the week, and we move right to the Bet MGM player to bet on for our Tennessee Titans offensive lineman, Ramon Foster. My Bet MGM player to watch this week and bet on is Christian Fulton. He's in a position last week to come back and make some big plays for this Titans defense. He'll have his hands full this week against Michael Pittman Jr. also. The Colts are playing at home. They want to be able to get this offense together, and one way to do it is either Jonathan Taylor, which I think the Titans stopped pretty well this weekend, but it's also Michael Pittman Jr. He is a playmaker, and a guy like Christian Fulton signs up to play in the NFL to guard a guy like Michael Pittman Jr. I'm looking forward to him keeping him at a minimum this week and being able to make the plays and split Flash plays that this Titans defense needs. Get the Bet MGM app today. Bet parlays, props, and futures, and turn game day into payday. Now you're winning with the king of sportsbooks. Please bet responsibly. Just ahead, Titans insiders Jim Wyatt and Buck Rising set up the round table with Rep Brian to talk Titans and Colts. That and much more just before kickoff. Priceless Foods and Priceless IGA present priceless moments in Titans history. October 27, 2008, the Tennessee Titans in Nashville, hosting the AFC South Division rival, Indianapolis Colts. Near the end of the third quarter, the Titans have the ball and go on a monster 14-play 80-yard drive that took 7 minutes 45 seconds off the clock. Lindell White gets it done. Gives it to White, goes pounding forward, twisting his way into the end zone. Touchdown! The Titans go for two, and Ahmad Hall, the Sarge, gets the two-point conversion. It's 14-all going into the fourth quarter. Lindell White isn't done. He'd find his way into the end zone with another one-yard touchdown run to cap off a 13-play Titans drive. 
And with 3.31 left in the fourth quarter, Chris Johnson salts it away with this play. He gives it to Johnson running right. He turns the corner. 15, 10, 5. Johnson dives. Touchdown. Yeah, CJ. 16 yards to Painter. And 7 and 0 is getting ever closer. Your final score from Nashville, the Titans 31, the Colts 21. Priceless moments in Titans history, presented by Priceless Foods and Priceless IGA. Grocery shopping made easy, with low prices you can expect every day. You're listening to Titans Countdown, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans, just moments away from Titans and Colts. Matchup number one as we bring in our Titans insiders, Jim Wyatt and Buck Rising. Jim, after getting Derrick Henry going last week, the Titans will face one of their tougher challenges, the third-ranked Colts rushing defense. Yeah, and Derrick Henry obviously returns to the scene of where he suffered the injury last year. I think he'll be motivated. I think that that's one of the keys to this football game is to be able to run the football, take pressure off the receivers, keep them from being able to possess the football and, and hand it to Jonathan Taylor again and again. And I think uh, I think it's a matchup the Titans could potentially have some success with. But Tannehill and this passing game will need to help out as well because Derrick Henry can help after last week's performance in that phase of the game. Yeah, five catches, 58 yards. They got him involved in the screen game. They were checking it down well to him because nobody was covering him open in space in the middle of the field. Him and Dontrell Hilliard, honestly, guys, have, have really, it gives them the potential to do more in that passing game and continue to move the change without running Derrick on every first and ten. Jim, the Titans will have different linebackers and safeties on the, their side of the ball considering Matt Ryan and Jonathan Taylor and the weapons they possess. It could get interesting this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, the guys are going to have to tackle well. I mean, Dylan Cole is going to be a part of it. Joe Schobert is active for this game for the first time. Uh, but, you know, the guys that have been in there, the guys that are, are your regular playmakers, especially somebody like David Long, are just going to have to tackle well. I mean, you got to get some penetration up front. Uh, force those guys, force Taylor inside, and then get them on the ground. Buck, they added Mario Edwards to the roster as they're looking for more pass rush this week. Well, they'll certainly have it between Edwards, but Dupree looks to be available, and Ola Daney uh, were not among the inactives today. So with Matt Ryan in particular, he kind of looks like a scared old man behind that offensive line, fumbles all over the place. They need to continue to put pressure on him if they're going to have success. And both of you guys, Bud Dupree is back, as you mentioned, but Ryan Stonehouse is going to kick in a closed building that's open today, so that presents some challenges. Yeah, and for Dupree in the pass rush, I mean, they need to crank it up. I mean, we saw five sacks early in the season, seen one in the past game, each of the last two games. To pre come back should help, but you got to get them in long down and distance situations. You got to be able to hit the quarterback. They are your Titans insiders. That is Jim Wyatt of TennesseeTitans.com, Buck Rising of his own show's namesake on 1045 The Zone. On the other side, the head coach, Mike Vrabel, he gives us his keys to Tennessee and Indianapolis on the other side. It's matchup number one of two right here on Titans Radio. Your calls after the game. Titans Talk Back, hosted by Will Bowling and Kevin Dyson on your Titans radio flagship, 104.5 The Zone. First meeting of the year between the Titans and the Colts. It comes from Lucas Oil Stadium in just moments. Titans head coach Mike Vrabel with his keys to victory. We talked about their core earlier, but if we can win the drive start, you know, if we can find a way to play penalty free, but still remain aggressive, blocking guys and getting on them and, and getting a return, uh, making sure we're flipping the field on punt. You know, we've, that's been a strength for us. That has to continue to be a weapon. Uh, and then do a little bit better on those plus 50 punts. That would be a great way to help us uh, in the drive start on special teams. You know, offensively, we got to get to the red zone. We got to score touchdowns. We've done that. Uh, we just have to get down there more consistently uh, and throughout the entire course of the game. Defensively, um, stopping the run, affecting the quarterback. You know, we have to find ways to, to disguise and get them off the spot, assault the middle of the pocket, and uh, make sure we're taking care of these boundary throws where he's looking to go, and then be ready to you know try to get the drive stop. We talked about third down and, and fourth down, their willingness to go for it on fourth down. So those are all going to be critical things, and uh, excited to see these guys perform. Mike, good luck today here in Indianapolis. Thank you. Before we continue, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. The Titans play here in 2022. This is Titans Radio. This is your official home for Titans football. Touchdown, Titans! 
WGFXFM Gallatin, Nashville. 1045 The Zone. Battle. Normally you know hey, we weather sunny in 68 with a barn open here in Indianapolis. Detroit, it's brought to you by Spring Hill Heating audition. and Cooling, One offering cost effective solutions like free service calls on their repairs, low monthly payments on those repairs. Spring Hill Heating and Cooling available anytime at SpringHillAC.com. It's this simple. Notch a valuable win over the Colts and you're back to 500. Tennessee at Indianapolis do some division battling. Mike Keith and Dave McGinnis set to call it next. Titans on three. One, two, three. Titans. Every snap counts. Every inch of field matters. Henry turns it up, runs into Diggs, runs into the end zone. Allen tried to sneak. He got nothing, or so it appeared. They did it. They did it. Sack! It's time for Titans football with Red Bryant, Amy Wells, Titans Radio's head coach Dave McGinnis, and the voice of the Titans, Mike Key. Touchdown, Titans! Your Tennessee Titans take the field and kickoff is next. It's hard to believe, but the Titans injury report got worse this week on defense. The secondary took multiple hits, and while Bud Dupree is back at outside linebacker, that group still lacks significant depth. Plus, inside linebacker Zach Cunningham is out with an elbow injury. Last week, the Titans buckled up against the Raiders and focused on the things that their roster could do. They performed well enough to get their first win. Coach Dave McGinnis, the Titans will have to do the same thing here today inside Lucas Oil Stadium against the Colts. What can the Titans focus on and what must they do well to win? Well, they got to focus on getting Derrick Henry going again. I mean, we got him going last week against Las Vegas. We've got to be able to do that so the play action game works. The thing that the defense has to be aware of, they've got two backs that can be a real problem, whether they hand it to them or throw it to them. We've got to take care of that first and then decide how we're going to deploy that secondary that you were talking about against their multiple weapons, both at receiver and also their two big tight ends in Jelani Woods and Mo Alley Cox. The matchups are going to be important for this game today. Referee for today's game, Scott Novak, umpire Ramon George, down judge Derek Bowers, line judge Walt Coleman, field judge Trey Bozier, side judge David Meslow, Back judge Terrence Miles. Novak's crew has called six offensive holds in the last two weeks. Interestingly enough, four of those six offensive holding penalties have been called in the run game. Unusual. Well, very unusual. Titans win the toss, elect to defer. So the defense will be headed out first against Matt Ryan and company. Isaiah Rogers, who had four kickoff returns, for 100 yards last week will be deep. Speedy, he can make things happen. Ironically, this building, which has a roof, has the roof open, and the wind would seem to be in the face of Randy Bullock as he goes to kick off. There is a massive picture window opening to our left, and then the roof itself is retractable. Bullock approaches, and we are underway. Roger's going to let it go, and here come the Colts, first and In 10 the at the 25-yard line. The Titans' 3-4 defense has taken the field, and these are your starting lineups, fueled by Sitgo. Up front, left to right for the Colts, Matt Pryor, Quentin Nelson, Ryan Kelly, Will Fries, Braden Smith. Tight end, Kalen Granderson. Wide receivers, Paris Campbell, Michael Pittman, Alec Pierce. Running back, Jonathan Taylor. Matt Ryan is the quarterback. Naheem Hines is in the starting lineup. They give Taylor on the left side and the Titans take him down after a yard. Jeffrey Simmons is there with Bud Dupree. Two of the guys up front for the Titans, including Demarcus Walker and Tier Tart. Linebackers, Dylan Cole, David Long, Rashad Weaver. In the secondary, Roger McCrary, Andrew Adams, Kevin Byard, Christian Fulton, 
and the Titans are going with Terrence Mitchell to begin at the other corner. On second and nine. Going to give it to Taylor on the right side. Big gap. 30, 35, 36. Buyer tackled him after he gave you 43rd career game. The, the Colts had 20 pony in there with both running backs in there together. That was an 11 personnel outside zone, and they blocked that thing very well. The outside zone is something we've got to be able to stop at the line of scrimmage. Joe Schobert is checking in as an extra defensive line or extra linebacker, I should say. Caleb Farley is now in in the secondary. Play fake. Ryan throws over the middle ball, tipped up in the air, and it is batted down by a Colt offensive lineman. Tart hit it first, and then a Colt offensive lineman, Smith, wisely spiked it into the ground. Nice job by Tierra Tart on first down. That was 12 personnel, two tights, with the play action fake being able to affect the cylinder. That's a big play. That's a big pass breakup by a defensive tackle. Now McCrary and Fulton are the corners. Byard and Adams are the safeties. At the 36 yard line, second down and 10. Ryan gonna give it on the right side to Taylor. There's Long. And also, Big Jeff, loss of two on the play. Another outside zone to a tight end side. That was an excellent job of being able to squeeze and force the middle and then get the edges set. That's a very, very nice job. This is third chains. We need to take advantage of it. Third and 12 to be specific. Line to make is the 46 of the Colts. They scrimmage from their own 34. Ryan in the gun with Hines to his immediate right. Three receivers left. Branson, the tight end, to the right. Blitz coming. Ryan has time, has a man. Granson at the 40. Granson has the first down up to the 48-yard line where he's tackled by McCrary. That was his own pressure. You called the blitz coming, but that was a crosser from the short side all the way across. They beat the zone over there on that side where the pressure came from. Colts have not been good on third down this year. Just 14 of 40, 35% entering that snap, but they just converted third and 12. At the 48, Titans at a five-man front. They give, that's going to be Taylor on the left side, two yards on the play. Walker leading the charge with Schobert also there. It'll be second down and eight. The personnel again had Naheem Hines as a receiver moving across. They've got both backs in there. We need to watch Naheem Hines because they're setting plays up to him by having him in there early and splitting him out. Hines and Pierce to the right, Pittman wide left. Now Allie Cox motions left, he's a tight end. Ball resting on the horseshoe. They give it to Taylor again, going left. Tries to cut back and runs into Schobert at the line of scrimmage. Excellent job by Schobert. That's a great kid diagnosed by him. What they're trying to do with Naheem Hines, they are trying to get matchups in the back end. Seeing how the Titans are going to match, Naheem Hines split out, then they've got a run pass option. Played very well by the Titans then. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball rests at the 50-yard line, just underway from Indianapolis. Titans set to rush four. Ryan in the shotgun, takes the snap. Has time, goes deep left side. Ball intended for Pittman, incomplete. Defended well by Fulton. There is a penalty marker in the backfield. on the defense number 96. It's a five-yard penalty and an automatic first down. 96 is the former Colt, Benico Autry, and so the drive stays alive for the Colts. Now at the Titan 45-yard line, penalties have been a problem for the Titans this year. They are averaging eight per game for 74 yards. Well, that's two third and longs. They've done a nice job on first and second down. We need to clean up third down defense. Campbell and Granson tight to the left. Allie Cox joins him that way. 
Pittman wide to the right. Taylor the back. Play fake. They're going to reverse it around and throw it to Pittman, who was flaring out on the left. And it's incomplete, defended by Long. Really nice job by David Long back there. That they were trying to they were trying to give eye candy to a linebacker behind the line of scrimmage. David Long did not bite on it. That's an excellent job of reading your keys and being eye disciplined by David Long then. Second and ten at the Titans 45 yard line. Ryan staying in the shotgun. Looking, feeling pressure, throws and incomplete at the feet of Pittman, defending McCrary. McCrary was in great shape. That's a nice job of collapsing the cylinder and also a really nice cage rush, not getting too far up the field with the outside. When he tried to maneuver inside, good gap discipline by the two inside rushers. Here's third and chains again, Mike. Third and ten, and the Titans come at this point with Kalu as an extra defensive back on top of what they had in the game. So 60 beats. Only linebacker right now is Long. Bunch set of three receivers to the right, one receiver left, Strawn. Center, Ryan Kelly does not snap the ball, penalty marker. Offense, everybody but center. Five yard penalty, third down. The rush deployment then, Mike, they were in wide nines, very wide. When I say wide nines, it's both ends outside the tackles with at least two yards, and then they were wide on the inside too. Let's see what the defensive front deployment is now that it's third and 15. Three corners, three safeties for the Titans. On third down, 15. Riot. Dropping. Sack! Balls out. Still rolling free. Bud Dupree tries to cover it. I think he got it. He did. The Titans get the quarterback sack. And again, Matt Ryan with the fumble. It's Autry causing it. And that Dupree is the man who comes up with the fumble at the 31-yard line. Timeout on the field as the Titans have a takeaway early here in Indy. Titans recover the fumble at the 32-yard line of the Colts. Up front, left to right for the Titans, Dennis Daly, Aaron Brewer, Ben Jones, Nate Davis, Nicholas petit Frayer, tight end Jeff Swaim, and Chickakakwo, wide receiver Traylon Burks, running backs Torrey Carter, Derrick Henry, quarterback Ryan Tannehill. Colts defense on their heels to begin. They had a nice drive going, picked up a couple of third downs, and then Matt Ryan lost another fumble. Wide receiver is left, Akakwo motions left. Eight in the box for the Colts. Give Henry on the left side. Henry two yards down to the 30. Colts defense. Defense. Yannick Ngakwe, Grover Stewart, DeForest Buckner, Quiddy Pay. Linebackers, Zaire Franklin, Bobby Okereke, Jack Leonard. In the secondary, Kenny Moore, Stephon Gilmore, Rodney Thomas, Rodney McLeod, Brandon Faison. Stewart made that tackle. Now three receivers in the game, all wide to the right. Westbrook Akine motions left. Hilliard in the backfield. Tannehill dropping, looking for Hilliard. He's got it. Leonard makes the tackle after he picks up two in the right flat to the 28-yard line. It'll bring up third down and six. Colts four-man rush. They were in zone defense then, uh, four under three deep zone. Austin Hooper has entered the lineup for the Titans. He battled a neck injury in practice this week, but was able to work through it. He's in a bunch set to the left with Woods and Westbrook Akine. Akakwo, tight, a standing tight end on the right. Third down and six. 
Colts show blitz. They don't come. Tannehill under some pressure, steps up, can run. Tannehill 25, Tannehill 20. Tannehill makes a first down to the 19-yard line as he enters the Pinnacle scoring zone for Titans Banking from Pinnacle. Visit titansbanking.com for all the details. Two high safeties then, very unusual for them. Third and long, that might be what they're going to be in, but they were not in a post safety then. They were in too high defense. That's why when the, the center opened up, Tannehill was able to pick that up. Nine yards on the play. Tackle by Kenny Moore. Henry back in at tailback. Tannehill dropping, swings it out. Henry on the right side, turns the corner of the 15 to the 10, and he is knocked out of bounds by Thomas at the seven yard line with a first down. Back to post safety again, and post safety, when I say that for our listeners, got a safety deep in the middle, then they have a safety down, either to the tight side or to the open side. He was down to the tight side then, Titans did a nice job of widening that defense out with that swing pass. Hollister has entered the lineup at wide receiver, as has Kyle Phillips, who missed last week's game with a shoulder injury. Phillips goes wide to the right. Gilmore's got him there at the seven. Tannehill, play fake, looking, throwing, man is wide open. Touchdown, Titans! Bobby Trees, that is Robert Woods. <laughs> that was really a nice play. They set that up. That was a one-back counter row, drew the linebackers up. They completely lost Robert Woods coming across the middle. Very well-conceived play, especially in the red zone. Tannehill held it an extra second in the belly of Henry, and in the process, he held everybody. Great play fake. Snap, set, Bullock's kick is up, and his kick is good. The takeaway results in a touchdown. Exactly eight minutes remaining first quarter. Your score, Tennessee Titans seven, Indianapolis Colts nothing. Mike Keith and Coach Matt. Oh giving you every detail of every Titans game. This is Titans Radio. I plays 32 yards, 247 off the clock. That's your Nissan Drive Summary, Nissan official auto partner of the Tennessee Titans. Fourth straight game, the Titans have scored a touchdown on their opening possession. Got to keep that going. But you like a cheapie like that that you only have to go 32 yards. Great job defensively, especially with that defensive rush with those wide sets. Kickoff goes through the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Matt Ryan and company. Matt Ryan has had a lot of problems with fumbles. That is his eighth fumble of the year, his third lost. He's been sacked 13 times. He is 37 years old. He was never the most mobile guy, but right now, Coach, he just can't get away. No, and, and they cage rush him. And when I talk about cage rush, they're squeezing from the outside and they're letting the inside collapse the cylinder. Nice job so far. Taylor, five carries, 11 yards. Here's carry number six. He finds two yards at left guard. Tackle made by Dylan Cole in second and eight. Does inside zone with an offset back to the open side. And what they were trying to do with that, he looked at that backside to try to jump cut back. It was squeezed off. That's why he just came up inside. Naheem Hines has checked in with Taylor. Hines is coming into the right slot. Now he's actually going to move outside on the right side. Now motioning back through. Ryan resets him. Ryan looking, firing pass, nearly intercepted in the left flat by Long, who dove in front of Taylor. Great read, Long. Great read by Long. I've coached linebackers in this league for a long time, and when they have a chance to go get one like that, you make a decision, he made the decision, right off of his far hand. Third down, eight yards to go. 
Mario Edwards Jr. is now in to rush from the right edge. One of the newer Titans. Ryan. Feeling heat, throwing right side, incomplete, intended for Strawn. Mitchell defending. That is a three and out sponsored by LRS. If your home business or construction site needs an extra level of clean with portable hand wash stations or portable restrooms, call LRS at 615-350-8480. Yeah, so far their cylinder squeeze up front defensively, especially on third chains, has been pretty decent. Hawk to punt. Robert Woods is deep. Snap is good. Hawk, the left footer, hits it downfield. Wapley spiral that turns over. Woods asks for and makes a fair catch at the Titans' 25-yard line. Timeout on the field. 7.05 to go first quarter. Tennessee with the ball for a second time, leading Indy 7 to nothing. Mike Brable's Titans keep playing this one when we return. Ryan Tannehill, two of two, nine yards and a touchdown. Derrick Henry, two carries, 14 yards. Ryan Tannehill, one carry, nine yards. Empty backfield. Tannehill under center. Now Henry motions into the backfield. From the 25, the Titans leading seven to nothing. Here comes Henry on the right side. He is just across the 30-yard line. Gain of almost six. Franklin with the tackle. They rocked that safety down to the open side then. That's exactly the side. They ran that outside zone too. Excellent push by the right side of the Titans offensive unit. That's a knockback there and they were outnumbered over there. Colts just give up 77 yards rushing per game, but they have not seen a team as committed to the run as the Titans so far this year. Second down, long four. Give, it's Henry, left guard. Taken down by speed after he gets up to the 32. It'll be third down and three. That was a counter roll play and speed playing linebacker. He jumped a gap. His guard pulled, he jumped the gap then. That's how he got there. Titans must make it right to the 35 yard line. They're moving right to left on your radio dial with six minutes to go first quarter. Woods and Burks to the right. Hilliard is on the left hip of Tannehill. Tannehill drops, looks right, comes back, complete. Hooper has the catch and is taken down. He needed three, he got three. First down for the Titans, Faison with the tackle. 12 personnel, both tight ends over here to the quarterback's left. Did a nice job looking the, the defense off to the slot to his right. Hooper knew, he knew exactly where the first down was. Set right over it. Nice job of a choice route. Fifth catch of the year for Austin Hooper. Henry back in at tailback. Tannehill, play fake, looking, screens Henry. 35-40, 45-50, 45 and down inside the 42-yard line. Tackle made by Thomas, beautifully executed. Uh, that, the timing on that could not have been more perfect. Had a safety drop down, eight man front, get people out in front and then let the back run. That was executed about as well as you can do it. Gain of 23 on the play and a first down. Henry stays in the game at tailback. Burks goes wide to the left in single coverage. Akakwo settles in the backfield. Play fake. Tannehill throwing, wheel route, Akakwa at the 25, Akakwa at the 20, and he is knocked out of bounds by Franklin at the 19 as the Titans have again entered the pinnacle scoring zone again with a 23-yard gain. Yeah, that was absolutely perfect. They ran play action away, that wheel route to match up on the linebacker, very well conceived again, and he had him completely beat over the top. Sweet.
Swain is the fullback, and now he goes tight to the right. Raider, the other tight end, motions to the right, settles outside of Swain. Now Burks motions left. Tannehill gives it to Henry, around right end to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. The <laughs> King, Derrick Henry, touchdown, Titans! They were packed inside so hard like sardines, and he bounced it outside. Goodbye. Two possessions, two touchdowns, and a 13 to nothing advantage for the Titans. Derrick Henry, five carries, 40 yards to start. I think the foot is fine. <laughs> they, they had him outnumbered over there. What a great call. Bullock for point, his kick is up, and his kick is good. Titans 14, Colts nothing, 346 remaining first quarter. Yard touchdown caps off a six play 75 yard drive, 319 off the clock. That's your Nissan drive summary. Nissan Stadium, home of the Titans. Nissan official auto partner of the Tennessee Titans. Henry off to a great start today. Six touches, 62 yards in the first 11-14 of this game. Last Sunday, 25 touches for 143, figuring out ways to get him the ball. Well, and you saw what they did then. They drew everybody inside to a nub side. When I say that, I mean, it was a closed formation with nothing out by. And you, everybody on that defense jumped inside as soon as, they, as he drew them inside. When he bounced outside, it was over. Very, very, uh, that's a great read by a running back, Mike. Great read. Rodgers is deep. Bullock set to kick off. Third time already in this game. Kick comes downfield. Rodgers is going to let it go for another touchback. So Matt Ryan, who is one of six for 14 yards, comes back out. He has taken a sack and lost a fumble. Jonathan Taylor, six rushes, 13 yards. And the Titan defense wants to tee off some more. Yes, they do. You got Naheem Hines and Taylor in there again together, Mike. Adams is out in the secondary. They have put Kalu in at the safety opposite Byard. Again, Hooker not playing today due to the concussion. Ryan with the play fake, looks down, middle, throws a crossing route. Branson has the catch at the 30, at the 40, and he's knocked out of bounds by Long and McCrary at the 43. He has both of the completions in the game for Brian Branson, the second-year tight end. Play action, he cleared the zone defense and was able to get to the edge of the zone. Gain of 18 on the play. Pierce, Pittman, and Campbell wide to the left. Allie Cox, the tight end on the right. They're going to give it up the middle. Taylor and the Titans muscle him down at the 45, gain of two yards. First contact by Mario Edwards Jr. Signed this week off the Jacksonville practice squad. Nice job by Edwards. Skimming the gap in there. Nice job. Second down, eight yards to go. 248 remaining first quarter. Titans 14, Colts nothing. Matt Ryan. 37-year-old, 15th-year man in the shotgun. Looking, throwing, got it complete. Pittman breaks a tackle and is into Titans territory before going down with Farley making the stop at the 45. They brought pressure from that side over there, and the quarterback, as you just said, 15-year vet, he read where the pressure was coming from. That was his hot receiver. Ryan will go back under center at the Titan 45. Puts Taylor seven yards deep. Motions Hines. He's going to the left. Gives it to Taylor on the left side and he is hit and dropped by the speedy Cole. Finished up by Edwards. It's a loss of two. Now they had a, they, they had a, a tight, a three man surface over there on that side with the inside guy offset trying to create another gap 
Cole did an excellent job of reading that play. Chiefs held Taylor to 71 yards on 21 carries last week. Titans trying to do the same. Play fake. Ryan on second down, feeling heat. Has time, fires up the middle. Campbell at the 30, and he's tackled at the 26. Kalou makes the stop. Too much time. Exactly, Mike. He had too much time to manipulate the cylinder in there. He started getting happy feet, but he settled them back down again. That was way too much time to throw. Schobert has checked back in at linebacker for the Titans as the Colts have their best drive of the day so far in the final minute of the first quarter. Ryan putting Taylor on his left hip. Hides in motion again. Fakes the... Inside handoff, throws across the middle to Ali Cox, and he is taken down by Cole at the Titans 24 after a two-yard gain. Play action, hide, slide, boot is what that was. Trying to hit the man that was vacated where the linebacker would vacate. Played very well. That's a hard play for a second-level player. Nice job by the Titans then. Ryan does not have to run another play, and it appears as though he will not as he heads to the sidelines to visit with his head coach. Frank Reich. After one, Titans 14, Colts nothing. Check scores around the league. From London, the Vikings beat the Saints 25-22. Will Lutz's game-tying field goal attempt off the upright and crossbar at the end of regulation. In the AFC South, the Jaguars lead the Eagles on the road 14, a pick six, and a Trevor Lawrence touchdown pass to Jamal Agnew. Texans trailing the Chargers in Houston 7 0. Baltimore on top of Buffalo 14 3. Seattle leads Detroit 14 6. Atlanta with a 10 0 advantage over Cleveland. Cordero Patterson with a rushing touchdown. It's Dallas 6, Washington nothing. Giants lead the Bears 7 6. Steelers trailing the Jets 3 0. Titans in this game have outgained the Colts 107 61. 49 yards rushing for the Titans, 58 yards passing. Colts, 13 yards rushing, 48 yards passing. The big stat, the Titans had a takeaway on the first drive of the game. Danico Autry with a sack, his fourth career forced fumble. He now has 41 and a half sacks. Bud Dupree recovered it. Unfortunately, on the play, Bud Dupree banged up his hip again. He is questionable to return. Second down and eight for the Colts at the Titans 24 as we begin play in the second quarter. Ryan firing down the middle, man is wide open. It's Allie Cox at the 10, and he is taken down at the six yard line by Cole. 12 personnel, two tight ends lined up together. Zone defense, he ran a little angle route there. This is the area of the football field with these two tight ends that we talked about. You just saw Allie Cox, also Jelani Woods. They're matchup problems down here. Jelani Woods caught two touchdown passes a week ago. His first two career catches, 13 yards in the win over Kansas City. He is not in the lineup right now. Colts are confused about personnel as they break the huddle with seven. Ryan, first and goal at the six. Takes the snap, gives it to Taylor at right guard, hit first by Simmons taken down finally by Cole at the four, gain of two. Big Jeff did a nice job of stopping that thing up immediately, letting his help come to him. Inside the five yard line again, as I say, these matchups down here with these big combat catchers is something that Titans have to defend. Pierce, who's 6'3", 211, Pittman, who's big, and Doolin, who has good size, all to the left. Now Doolin motions into the backfield. Ryan spreading out to his left, looking, firing. It's caught by Pittman out of bounds. McCrary was defending. I don't even think it was that close. It wasn't that close at all. I'll tell you who was close was McCrary. McCrary hipped him up, stayed in phase perfectly, made that throw go wide. Colts one of three on third downs. Here comes Woods, the rookie tight end from Virginia, who's 6'7". Titans come back with some more help up front. 
Taylor is wide to the right with Woods. Three receivers to the left. Ryan, empty backfield. Mike Vrabel doesn't like something. He's asking for a timeout. So timeout Tennessee, 13-33 remaining in the second quarter. Titans lead 14 to nothing, but the Colts have third and goal at the four. You're exactly right. Mike Vrabel saw that matchup where, where Jelani Woods split out. That's something that they've done a little bit, not a lot. And so that was a that was a good timeout to be able to get squared away what you want to do. Wants to talk to his secondary. You got a bunch of new guys in this situation because of injuries. And so you want to make sure Kalu and Fire fairly, Farley, I should say, and others are on the same page. Also want to make sure you have the right set of pass rushers. Now, not an empty backfield because Taylor's in there. He is a good pass catcher. He's on the right hip of Ryan. Ryan, play fake, throws right side, going for Pittman, out of bounds. Defended by Byard, but the throw carried him out. Fourth down and goal at the four. McLaughlin, the kicker, starts in, and then they send him back. 23 on the play clock as Ryan huddles his group up. The Titans have allowed six of seven fourth down conversions this year. This is fourth and goal at the four. Taylor on the left hip of Ryan with five on the play clock. Ryan will instead let the play clock run out, cannot draw the Titans off sides, and now the field goal unit will come out. I have to say I'm surprised. Yeah, you know what? I am too, Mike. Everybody in the league now goes on fourth down seemingly all the time. I mean, it's become a fad, and it's become a thing. Hawk to hold. McLaughlin will try a 27-yarder from the right hatch. Titans guarding against the fake. Snap is high. Placement is set. Kick is good. Colts are on the board with 13-25 remaining your new score. 13-25 remaining second quarter. Titans 14, Colts 3. Plays 66 yards, 521 off the clock. The Titans hold strong after the Colts get first and goal at the six. And Chase McLaughlin's field goal is good from 27 yards. It's a 14-3 game. Hassan Haskins is deep to catch McLaughlin's kickoff. McLaughlin on the year has one touchback. They love to cover because they've got six or seven guys on special teams who are just demons. That's absolutely right, Mike. That's a great point. They, a lot of times they try to make you, or they do make you with the kick. They turn these things. Because they'd love for you to start at like the 12-yard line. McLaughlin replacing the departed Rodrigo Blankenship. Kick is high. Three yards deep in the end zone, he's coming out. To the five, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, and Haskins is tackled before he reaches the 35 yard line. Decisive and an excellent return, Banagoo with the tackle. Decisive is a perfect adjective for that. He knew he was going to do it when he saw the trajectory of the kick, and then he went north and south, running right out of the sunshine, going towards the shade. They will officially give him the 33 yard line, so it's a 36-yard return. And the Titans will start off in an eye. Carter is the fullback. Henry is the tailback. Woods motions to the right to join Burks. Play fake. Tannehill looking, firing. Henry drops it. In the right flat, he took a hit there from McLeod, but he had already dropped it. Again, they kept their safety down. They motioned across, left the nub side, but they left the safety out down on that nub side and just expanded over here on that linebacker 
A lot of post safety as we anticipated. Looked as if the Titans might want to go deeper down the field. Not there, obviously. Three receivers to the right, one to the left, Tannehill in the gun. With Henry on his left hip. Tannehill drops, looks, fires, got it to Woods at the 40. Woods driving forward up to the 44. A late flag, two late flags have been thrown. Back at the quarterback. Would be enough for a first down. Personal foul, roughing the passer on the defense. 15 yards will be added to the end of the run and an automatic first down. So this will take the football into Colts territory. As Burks checks in, Westbrook Akine is out. Titans will have it at the Colt 42 yard line. Crowd does not like the call. Ball's already thrown, and then they made contact with the quarterback, and that's what's happening now in the National Football League. There's also a face mask, face mask. Colts in a four-man front. Tannehill going to give Henry a crack on the right side. He's got room. Henry inside the 40, inside the 35, stopped just short of the 34 by McLeod. Gain of nearly eight. It'll be second and short. Rodney McLeod doesn't make that cross the bow tackle. That thing might go to the pylon. Titans 14, Indianapolis 3, 12 minutes, 30 seconds to go first half. Second down, it's three. Swain motions into the backfield. Bunch set of three receivers to the left. Petit Frere moved. All start offense, 78, five yard penalty. Second down. Unforced error, you've got to eliminate those. Henry, six carries, 47 yards. But the Titans now in more of a throwing situation with it being second down and eight. Give Henry, looking for room, finding room to the 35. And Henry is taken down at the 33. Okereke made the tackle. It's gonna be third down and I think about one. They put it inside the 33. I think it's about a half yard, Coach. Yeah, I think you're right, Mike. He made a couple of jump cuts there. One to his left, one to his right, and then went back to his left. Colts were like me. They thought it was a throwing down. Tannehill in the gun. Now gets up under center. Titans pitch it. Right side, Burks turning the corner to the 30 and Burks to the 28. With a lead blocking of Derrick Henry, the Titans pick it up, Okereke with the tackle. That's a nice fullback out in front of you. Are we back in the Southwest Conference? That's nice, perfect play. Perfect the old play. days. Perfect play right there. Deep motion to pitch. You would have thought that was Lamb Jones back in the day. <laughs> At the 29 officially, Titans on the move, leading by 11. Give Henry straight up the middle, three yards to the 26. Tackle by Franklin. Nice surge up there up front. Eight carries, 57 yards for Henry. In the game up here last Halloween where he broke his foot, 28 rushes for 68 yards. Titans already with 70 yards rushing. Second and seven. Burks wide right. Now motioning to the left. Tannehill takes the snap with a play fake. Tannehill throws short Henry at the 21. He dropped it.
Third down and seven for the Titans. See, that was so effective last week, and it was effective again because the play action is working. The play action's working. Derrick Henry's got to catch that before he takes off running. Ball resting at the 26 on the right hatch. Hooper, the tight end to the left. Burks joining Woods to the left. Hollister wide to the right. Colt showing a blitz. Hilliard in the backfield. Here come the Colts. Deep throw over the head of Burks on the left side. Incomplete. He was open. He was open. The quarterback got decked pretty hard, too. He had to let it go before he wanted to. And Tannehill missed him. That's the first one he's really missed. He's six of nine for 68 yards. The other two incompletions outside of that one were Henry drops. This is Bullock from 44 on the right hand out of the hold of Stonehouse. Snap, set, kick. Good! Randy Bullock is good from 44. And your new score, Tennessee Titans 17, Indianapolis Colts 3, 9.39 remaining, first half in Indy. Titans extend their lead to 17-3 thanks to a 44-yard Randy Bullock field goal. That caps off a nine-play 41-yard drive, 346 off the clock. That is your Nissan Drive Summary. Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans. Nissan official auto partner of the Tennessee Titans. Isaiah Rogers, the third-year speedster from UMass, is deep to catch this kickoff from Randy Bullock. Randy has had a busy half. It's that one downfield. It'll go for a touchback, and we'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the National Football League. This is Titans Radio. Matt Ryan, six of 13, 83 yards. Jonathan Taylor, nine rushes, 15 yards. Colts start at their own 25 again. Four-man front for the Titans. Five defensive backs for Tennessee. Ryan takes the snap. Straight drop under pressure. Ball batted up in the air. It's caught. Tier Tart on his back. Just intercepted the pass. Wow! <laughs> Look what I found, Ma! <laughs> Oh, wow. That is a wow. It was tipped by Tart. He fell backwards and caught it inside the 30. Tier Tart with the hands, all 6'2", and supposedly 304 of him. <laughs> I'll tell you what, what a ballerina that is. The 28-yard line, getting the hands up, doing what Terrell Williams, his position coach, has coached him to do, and then showing the dexterity to stay with it. Carter is the fullback. Henry is the tailback. Two tight ends to the right. Now a Conquo motions left. Here comes Henry on the right side, not much. Maybe a yard and a flag from the back judge. Could this be holding on the Colts' defensive line? They're trying to hold the jump through. I think you have got great eyes. Holding. Defense number 90. Five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run in an automatic first down. So instead of a one-yard gain, it's a six-yard gain, and the chains move. The Titans felt like this was something that happened on multiple occasions in last week's game against the Raiders. And we're prepared to really point it out to the officials in this game as a point of emphasis. Four it's man, it's I'm, already worked. I'm sorry, Mike. Four-man front, holding the jump through is something they do. At the 22. 
On first down, Henry again right up the middle. Henry to the 15, breaks a tackle to the 10, sprints left to the 5, darts into the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Penalty markers are down inside the 10. We wait. Holding offense number 16. It's a 10 yard penalty. First down. It's a 10 yard penalty from the spot. So it will move the ball to the 14 yard line as they are claiming Burks held at the four. Mike Brable's hot, by the way. So this is going to make it first down and two as the Titans have entered the Pinnacle scoring zone again. Pinnacle is the official bank of your Tennessee Titans. Visit titansbanking.com to learn more about Pinnacle's winning plays. First and two. Woods in the backfield with Tannehill. Tannehill drops, throws Woods on the right side, and he'll have the first down just outside the 10 where he's tackled by Franklin. Yeah, a nice little swing route by Woods out of the backfield. Snuck through the B gap. Nice first down. Titans can make a first down at the one. It'll be first and 10 at the 11. Titans lead 17 to three. 834 to go and counting in the first half. Tannehill under center. Gives Henry on the right, he cuts back, darts inside the 10, and is tackled just at the eight yard line by Lewis. Got a little bit of a push there on the right side. You saw Henry, he, what he did, he stuck his right foot in the ground. He was getting ready to cut back in a crease. The edge player fell back inside on him. Second and seven at the eight. Swaim. Akakwo and Burks wide left, Hooper wide to the right. Tannehill in the gun with Henry on his right hip. Tannehill looking, throwing, completing, scoring. Chig Akakwo, touchdown, Titans! Oh, Ryan Tannehill, what a vet move. He looked this whole defense off to the right and gave Akakwo a chance to sit and then ran what we call a little sting route, a little stop and go across the face of the defender. What a nice job. Second career catch for Chick Akakwo. First career touchdown. And a Colt is down at the one yard line. Titans have two takeaways in this game. A Matt Ryan fumble and a Matt Ryan interception timeout for the to the tart interception the titans drive five plays 28 yards 154 off the clock that's your nissan drive summary nissan official auto partner of the tennessee titans shaq leonard the injured colt taken to the dressing room appeared to have some sort of gash on his forehead hopefully he's okay if you're just joining us Ryan Tannehill has thrown for 79 yards and two touchdowns. Derrick Henry has rushed for 79 yards and a touchdown. And the Titans defense has forced two turnovers that have allowed the Titans to drive a collective 60 yards for 13 and now maybe 14 points. Snap, set, kick. Bullock's kick is up, and it's good. Titans 24, Colts 3, 7.40 to go here in the first half. Crowd, antsy. Yeah, I think antsy is a good word. Let's talk about a little bit of how this affects the ball game here. You've still got to be alert of, of Taylor and Hines in the, in the backfield. We know that they're, you know, they're down three scores, but those two dudes can take it to the house from anywhere. So. All I'm saying is, is just don't disregard those two backs. Nonetheless, you like your position. You love your position. I mean, I, I'll take 21 bells up anytime. 
you got to understand, I mean, we do understand, and everybody listening does, is that this is still quite a while before this ball game is concluded. A long game. Rodgers is deep for Bullock's kickoff. Bullock has kicked off four times, four touchbacks. On the year, Bullock has 12 touchbacks. Still 7.40 remaining in the first half. And it is quiet. Bullock kicks it deep. Rogers gonna let it go for a fifth touchback. The flip side, though, of the, you have to be cautious about Taylor, and you have to be cautious about Hines, is sometimes the opposition will try to do too much and open the door for you to make a big play. That's 100% right, Mike, and, and that's so far that's what's been happening a little bit. All three receivers come to the left. Ryan in the shotgun. Gonna give it to Taylor, and Taylor has a yard at right guard. Bullock was there first, and Tart who has a lot of energy now after his immaculate interception. <laughs> what a play by Tart. That was a great play by defensive tackle. Do you think he's ever had a moment in his life where he felt better about himself? <laughs> what a play. Second down and nine. Branson and Pittman to the right, Campbell and Pierce to the left. Ryan in the shotgun, gonna throw it. Fires deep right side and Pittman makes the catch. Is touched down at the 33 yard line by Fulton. Brings up third down and two. Matt Ryan put some spin on that ball out there then. Colts are one of four on third downs. 6.32 and counting. Titans lead 24-3 here in the second quarter. Taylor on the left hip of Ryan. Titans set to rush four. They have five defensive backs. Now they come with a blitz. Ryan in trouble, stepping up, in trouble, throws it, and he got it complete. It's grabbed by Campbell at the 50, and Campbell is into Titans territory at the 49. Penalty marker down. Prior to the pass, holding defense number 21. That penalty's declined. First down. Nice play by Matt Ryan. He kept that thing alive, and there was a lot of heat up in the cylinder on him then. At the 49-yard line of the Titans, the Colts are now on the move with a little momentum. 18-yard completion on third and two. Taylor staying in the backfield with Ryan. Ball gets away from Ryan. He comes up with it and falls down at the 44-yard line on a poor snap by Kelly, loss of seven, and an unforced error by the Colts. Now that was high and to the right, right off the jump from the snap. Weaver is credited with touching him down. Colts bring Ali Cox in, Campbell out. Titans staying in the five defensive back set. Andrew Adams, the former Giant and Buck, is the safety opposite buyer. Ryan, dropping, under pressure, spins out to his left, throws, got to complete to Pittman in Titans territory at the 45. He's taken down at the 41 by Adams. Had a blitz, had a pressure on right then. Matt Ryan was able to move up and inside away from the pressure Keep his eyes downfield, which most veteran quarterbacks do. Not the fastest guy, but always a good athlete, Matt Ryan. And surprisingly able to throw accurately on the move throughout his career. Third and two. Going to give it to Taylor at right guard, and he's got the first down to the Titan 38-yard line where Strong makes the tackle. Again, 
had them in chains then, but they were able to come back from it. As you said, the quarterback's maneuverability is not tops in the league, but he is he understands what he's looking at once he starts to move. He's crafty. There you go. 4-12 to go first half. At the Titan 38, Ryan with the first down. Play fake, Ryan stepping up, firing man is wide open. It's Woods, the big tight end, inside the 20, inside the 10, and he is tackled at the five yard line by Adams. Yeah, there's Jelani Woods, and again, you saw him, he ran over a defender. We talk about 6'7", 250 pounds. He ran through an arm tackle, through a, somebody tried to butt him down from the outside. It's not gonna work on a guy that size. Byer tried to knock the ball out when he couldn't get it out. It took Adams making the touchdown saving tackle. Direct snap. Taylor running to the right. The Titans were ready for it and Schobert gets it from behind to take him down after a one yard gain and there's a penalty mark. Holding offense, number 69, 10 yard penalty. First down. 69 is prior. Going to be first and goal at the 15. Here comes Mike Strawn, an extra wide receiver. Strawn, 6'5", 225, second year man out of Charleston. Yeah, and you, you can see that you can see that the hole was, was very definitely real. Ryan reassumes the quarterback position, puts Taylor on his right hip. Two tight ends to the left, receiver either side. Ryan dropping, looking, swinging it out right side. It's complete to Taylor. Long takes him down after he picks up a yard. That was a great job by David Long, mirror match. Call that mirror match in the back end. He stayed step for step with him with a little bit of room and then closed very quickly. Nice job. Hines and Campbell checking in for the Colts, trailing 24 to three with two and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Tight end, Ali Cox to the right. Bunch set of three receivers to the left. Play pick, Ryan looking left, throwing, man is wide open. Ali Cox makes the catch and goes into the end zone for a touchdown, but there is a penalty marker at the goal line. Was there a pick? While the quarterback was still in the pocket, legal contact on the defense number 21. Number 21. Touchdown. Well, the tight defenders are hot. They thought there was a pick there. Instead, it's a touchdown for the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, and we talked about down here in the red zone, of course, 15 yard lines, high red zone, but those two tight ends come into play and they did this drive. McLaughlin for the extra point. Out of the hold of Hawk, the punter. Snap, set, kick is up. Kick is good. New score with 2.13 remaining in the half. Titans 24, Colts 10. Nine plays, 75 yards, 5.27 off the clock. Key sequence here, the Titans with two timeouts and the two-minute warning. We'll get the football back. They get the ball to start the second half. It's an opportunity to put some space without the Colts offense having a chance to really go back out there. Yeah, and they've been doing a nice job of going at them and attacking them both on the ground and through the air. So I, I expect them to go after them with this possession. Matt Ryan down 12 of 20 for 170 yards, a touchdown and an interception. Jonathan Taylor, 11 rushes for 19 yards. Then the tight ends who've done the damage for the Colts. Allie Cox, three catches, 34 yards, a touchdown. Granson, two for 33. Woods, one for 33. The receivers have done very little, but the tight ends have played very well for the Colts. Allie Cox, the former basketball player at VCU. 
Woods, a former quarterback originally at Oklahoma State, and Granson, an SMU product that they developed last year. Yes. Haskins is deep. McLaughlin to kick off. Titans guarding against anything funny. High and very short. Haskins from the five to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, to the 26 yard line. He's tackled there by JoJo Doman. Undrafted rookie out of Nebraska. Ryan Tannehill, 8 of 11, 79 yards. He also has a rush for nine yards. He has been the beneficiary of the two takeaways, one that set up a 32-yard touchdown drive and one that set up a 28-yard drive. Tannehill in the gun with Henry on his left hip. Delay to Henry. Looking for room up the middle. To the 30, he nearly broke it as he's taken down at the 33 by Franklin. And we've reached the two minute warning. Two minutes remaining first half here at Lucas Oil Stadium. Tennessee Titans 24, Indianapolis Colts 10. Titans trying to add to already a nice 24 to 10 lead over the Colts. Just ahead, stats, scores, cover two with Coach Mack. Radio's halftime report powered by the Tennessee Lottery that happens here in just a few minutes. Derrick Henry, 12 carries, 86 yards and a touchdown. He also has one catch for 22 yards, which helped to set up his touchdown. Titans have done a nice job overall. They've outgained the Colts 178 to 172. But the big thing is the two takeaways in Colts territory. It's a difference in the game. Second down and three at the 33 for the Titans. Woods motioning left. Tannehill under center. Tannehill going to give it to Henry. Looking for room. He's out just short of the 35-yard line. And the Colts are going to use a timeout. Interesting strategy with the Titans facing third down at about a yard and a half. Ngakwe made the tackle, by the way. Well, you know what Frank Reich's thinking. He'd like to get a possession. Sure. Because he knows the Titans get a possession coming out of halftime. On the flip side of that, though, which we've said more than once in this half, he's giving the Titans a timeout if they pick up this first down. Absolutely. It's a risk. See if Tennessee can make him pay. Tannehill on third down, and we'll call it two. Play fake, pumping, throwing, got it complete. It's grabbed by Woods on the left side, and he's out to the 44. Franklin with the tackle. First down, Titans. Yeah, you know, nobody will talk about that play, but that's a veteran move by Woods over there. That was, a, that was an RPO, and then he saw the zone coverage. He just sat. A minute 34 and counting. Tannehill calling the play at the line. Tannehill gives Henry running left. There he goes. 50, 45, and he's down at the 44-yard line. Hilliard going to check in for Henry as he's now up to 99 yards. And a minute 10, Titans not going to be in a big hurry. They got the free clock stoppage on third down and two. As you said, Mike, made him pay. Hilliard is the back on the right hip of Tannehill. 55 seconds. Tannehill looking, throwing, completing to Hilliard at the 40. Hilliard taken down at the 39. Now Mike Vrabel will use his second timeout as McLeod makes the tackle. Gain of five on the play, it'll be second and five. Now you need to manipulate this down, and you still got the timeout in your pocket. Tannehill, 10 of 13, 94 yards and two touchdowns. Akakwo in this game, two catches, 31 yards and a touchdown. 
Robert Woods, four for 30 in a touchdown. Henry, one for 22. Hillier, two for seven. Hooper, one for four, but it converted a first down. Second and five at the 39 of the Colts. Tannehill from the shotgun. Under pressure, rolling right, rolling, he'll throw it away. Stops the clock with 40 seconds to go. There's a flag in the secondary. You know that's got to be against the defense. Holding. Defense number 24. Correction, number 44. That's a five-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Six penalties for 55 yards on the Colts. Excuse me, six for 45. Now, that puts it at the 34, a first down, 40 seconds. The Titans have a timeout remaining. They are in Bullock's field goal range for sure. Tannehill has three receivers to the right. Takes the snap. Tannehill looking, throwing. He's got it complete to the 31-yard line to Hilliard. He is thrown out of bounds by McLeod. The clock keeps running. Now they're stopping the clock. The official on that side was waiting to roll it. Now they're rolling it as the ball's brought back in. Titans get on the line. 30 seconds and counting. Second and seven. Tannehill looks, fires, complete to Burks at the 25. Burks is tackled right there. Short of the first down, and Vrabel will have to use the last time out. Burks' first catch of the game. He was trying to get out of bounds, but he was pinned in there. Yep. All right. Big McGinnis, third down and one. 19 seconds to go. You don't have any timeouts left. You pick up the first down, you might have time to spike it. Spike it. Yeah. If you don't pick up the first down, oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Tannehill in the gun with Hilliard on his left hip. Tannehill takes the snap. Looking, in trouble. Stepping up, can run for it. He will be right at the mark. Get on the ball. Is it a first down or not? They are running the, the kicking team in. Four seconds, three seconds. Two seconds, and the Titans will not get it off in time. There is a penalty marker down. They did not give Tannehill the first down, and when they didn't, the Titans could not spike the ball, so they will not get this play off. It looked like an official might have tripped Corey Levin as he was running onto the field. Prior to the ball being snapped, the offensive team was not set. That's a five-yard penalty and a 10-second runoff and the end of the first half. So the Titans don't get to attempt a field goal. They do run out the last 213 of the half, and they will get the ball to start the second half. Basically, the only blunder of this first half for Tennessee as they lead at the intermission at Indianapolis, 24 to 10. Titans action from the first half. In the end zone, one hand, block! Block. On Titans Radio. Put this one in the bank. Fire seven days from issuance. For problem gambling support, call the Tennessee Red Line at 800 889 9789. Back at Lucas Oil Stadium to begin the second half in a moment, but some numbers that stand out. Jonathan Taylor, 11 carries, 19 yards. That's all so far. And, uh, in fact, one for one yard receiving. But, on the other hand, the Titans, four of six on third down, only three penalties. They forced two turnovers. They just got to keep the chains moving here because they won the toss. They elected to divert, defer their option to this half, and so they get the ball to begin the third quarter. And to call the second half, here's the voice of the Titans, Mike Heath, and our coach, Dave McGinnis. Titans going to get the football, and they're trying to change the tune from September. 
the tune of September second half was minus 50. They had been outscored 57 to seven in the second half of games. Good time to change that tune. Well, it's October. Yeah, we, we flipped the calendar, and now it's time to see if the Titans can change the narrative about themselves. They've been a very good first half team, but not a good second half team at all. Colts may be feeling a little rejuvenated with the Titans not able to kick a field goal at the end of the half. There was question about whether or not Tannehill had made the first down, and that would have been a point because if he, if he did, he could have spiked the ball, and then the field goal team could have come out. But when that indecision was there, everybody running around frantically, and the Titans don't get a kickoff. Now, who knows? Might not have been good anyway. But the point being, the Titans' first real mistake of the game came at the end of the half. Does it give Indianapolis some momentum, or is it just a momentary blip? Haskins is deep. McLaughlin to kick off. High and short. Haskins from the 5 to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, and he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Dolman again makes the tackle. Ryan Tannehill, 12 of 15 for 103, two touchdowns. All right, let's see the deployment here, not only with our personnel, but I want to look and see what they have done defensively now after looking at the first half, the way we used our personnel. Woods going wide to the left. Burks and Westbrook Akine wide to the right. Henry, 14 carries, 99 yards. Colts jumping around in the defensive line. Give Henry, looking for room, dragging tacklers out to the 27. He's over 100 yards rushing for the first time since that Monday night game last October against Buffalo as Stewart makes the tackle. Well, there was one adjustment right there. They traded the tight end, and then they shifted. They moved. They moved their shade to a three, their three to a shade to the tight end side. That's why the Titans came backside to the open side with that outside zone. Tannehill. Back under center. Two receivers to the left on second down and seven. Play fake. Tannehill rolling. In trouble, and he sacked. A dang boat. Big, big loss. The big loss, especially down here in the Titans' end of the field. Back to the 14, it's third and 20. Last week, the problem in the first drive of the second half was penalties. This time, it's a sack. Tannehill sees the play stop because Petit Frere jumped again. Yes, he did. Smart. Offense number 78. It's five-yard penalty. Third down. We have not seen Stonehouse the punter in this game. But if the Titans don't convert third and 25, we will. Colts dropping deep. They have four players, now five players, outside the 20-yard line. Tannehill swings it out. Hilliard on the right side to the 10, to the 15, and he falls down at the 18. Don't think he's going to get it. Thomas with the tackle. But that was less than awe-inspiring from the Titans. Yeah, that's not, that's not the opening drive that anybody for the Titans wanted. First punt of the day, Stonehouse, and Hines is deep. Snap is good. Stonehouse is punt. Wobbly spiral. Racing to his right to catch it on a spin. 
is going to be Hines outside the 30-yard line at the 33. So the Colts are back in this game. They've got 12.35 to go in the third, trailing the Titans 24 to 10. Nash. Colts get the football at their own 33-yard line to begin the second half in terms of their offense. We can tell you that Shaq Leonard is out for the rest of the game concussion. And that's bad news in a lot of ways for the Colts. Not only is he a great player, and this is his first game back from off-season surgery. But the Colts turn around and play at Denver on Thursday. And with what's been happening with the concussion discussion, you would think he's out for that game. Yeah, there's no way. Bud Dupree not back on the Titans sidelines either. To give Taylor a carry. Jumping around, Cole will come in to grab him after he picked up maybe a yard. It'll be second and long. So you hand off, you hand it off to him like that. You've got to maintain discipline because he can bounce and jump cut quite a bit. So even though he looks like he's stopped, maintain those edges. 12 rushes, 20 yards for Taylor. Titans lead this game 24 to 10 early in the third. Hines and Taylor on either side of Ryan. Give Taylor on the right side, breaking tackles and getting it out to the 40 yard line. Fired with the stop. It's third down and three. That's my point. He was stopped right at the point of attack, but kept jump cutting back to his left with one missed tackle, two missed tackles, and then finally they get him down. Titans trying to get off the field on third down. Colts three of six on third downs in this game. Ryan takes the snap. Throws deep left side going for Pierce who makes the catch over Mitchell inside the Titans 35 yard line. Pierce's fourth catch of the year, the rookie from Cincinnati. They will say he touched at the 35, but that's a big play for the Colts. Yeah, that wasn't even a back shoulder throw. That was just a combat catch. He out muscled the DB. 25 yards on the play. Titans trying to get lined up. They have personnel problems. This is one of the problems with playing so many backups. Colts want to go fast. Ryan. Gets them lined up. Let's see what this is. Penalty marker. 12 players in defensive formation. It's a five-yard penalty. First down. Yeah, Schobert never came out. Well, and that's one of the problems with having to play a guy who got here or got to Nashville on Tuesday. Yeah. First and five at the 30. Bobby King, the linebacker coach, comes over to talk to him for just a second. They run Taylor. He's hit the backfield, breaks the tackle. He's got the 25. Byron rides him down as he gets inside the 20. Mitchell also there. I'm, the talking, I'm sorry, Mike. That's why I'm talking about those jump cuts back there. He was tack he was had a man in the backfield on him. He stepped right out of it. First and ten at the Tennessee 19, 24 to 10. Titans lead the Colts, but Indy moving with 942 to go in the third. Ryan under center. Gonna give Taylor another chance running left. Not as much there, but still some. Down to the 17-yard line. Jones with the tackle. It's second and eight. You know how it is with most elite backs. You keep feeding them. If they get a little bit of success, even though they haven't had much, that's all they need is just a little air to get started. One of the keys to the Titans not scoring at the end of the first half or early here in the third quarter is you're only down two scores. You can stick with the running game. That's 100% correct. 15 carries, 39 yards for Taylor. Ryan in the gun on second and eight. 
Ryan looking to his left, throwing short, completing it. Another shot to the tight end. It's Granson who is taken down at the eight yard line by Cole. And that should be enough for a first down and it is. Tight ends have given the Titans fits this afternoon. Yeah, when we coming into this thing, it's something I think that they knew that that's why they use these tight ends quite a bit down here, especially the high red zone, all the way down to the low red zone. Jalant has now checked in for the Colts. He is tight to the right. Two receivers wide right. Pierce wide left. They give Taylor a chance on the left side. One yard. First man with contact was Long. Schobert also there. Two linebackers did a nice job being a vice tackling that back, which means there's one on each side of them, and they square their shoulder pads up on him. Now Branson and also Ali Cox come in. So three tight ends are in the game right now for the Colts on second and goal at the seven. Not surprising with what they like to do with them down here in the low red zone. They are all in a tight bunch to the right. Now Branson motions left. Play fake. Ryan looking. Floats it. Alley Cox all alone in the left flat for a touchdown. Titans have no answers to the tight ends for the Colts. As you said, they got him in a nine ball stack, which is a tight bunch. They started motioning and they went back to it and then snuck a man across. Ryan to Alley Cox for seven yards and a touchdown. McLaughlin for the extra point. Snap, set. Kick. Good. Titans led this game 24 to 3 with 740 to go in the second quarter. With 726 left in the third, that lead is down to seven. yards 509 off the clock Matt Ryan to Bo Alley Cox for a seven yard touchdown Titans 24 Colts 17 726 to go in the third Matt Ryan started this game one of six passing since then 14 of his last 17 for 197 yards eight of them going to tight ends Haskins will field this in the end zone and bring it back to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, and Banigou will get him on the ground as he crosses the 25-yard line. I think that's all they will give him. But the Titans got to get something going on offense. Out of the game in the last series because Tannehill was sacked. Henry, 15 rushes for 102. Two receivers to the left against a five-man front. Eight in the box. Tanner with a play fake, rolling, looking, swinging it out. Henry, Henry has two, maybe three on the left side. Excellent tackle by O'Karake. Yeah, there's a little bit of a change, too, with the Colts there now, you know, that five-man front. That's what I was interested in. Half far, that's one of them. As we continue from Indianapolis, we pause a second vacation. This is Titans Radio. Second down and eight, Titans at the 27. Henry on the left side, not much. Maybe a yard. The Colts are feeling it. Yeah, they've energized this crowd again. Third down, Tennessee. He got a yard. The Titans need the 35. They are just short of the 28.
crowd gets loud. Not as loud as it could be because the roof is open. Titans four of seven on third downs. Woods and Tannehill with a miscommunication. Now Woods comes in motion to the right. There's the snap. Tannehill has time. Penalty marker down, pass is short and incomplete. Intended for Phillips. Legal shift on the offense. Two players are moving at the same time. Poor execution by the Titans, and they'll have to punt again. Here's the dangerous Hines drifting deep. And the Colts, barring something unforeseen, are going to get the football back with a chance to tie this game. Need Co a kick here. Cox to snap to Stonehouse. Snap is good. Stonehouse's punt is away. High spiral at the 15. Hines to the 20. And he is just drilled by Joe Jones as he crosses the 20-yard line. At the moment, it looked like it was going to open up. Joe Jones closed it. Wow. Colts with the ball. Titans leading by seven. 536 left in the third. their own 21 yard line first down and 10 titans lead 24 to 17 536 remaining in the third ryan play fake in a deep drop under pressure firing downfield and throwing it it's a catch left side they will say granson made the grab at the 40 yard line colts rushing to get on the ball very quickly as if they are not sure granson got his feet down Kelly, the center, ready to snap it. He does. They, they throw it left side this time to Doolin, and the pass is short. Fulton defending its second and ten. All right, you got second and chains here. You got to do something. Do something with it. That little stoppage in play, the Titans are able to change some personnel they don't have a lot of guys on defense available especially edge rushers as bud dupree is out of this game with a hip injury looking over a four-man front ryan on second and ten pressure coming up the middle he throws and completes it across the middle it's caught by hines mccrary tackles him at the 47, it'll bring up third down and three. Angle route by Hines, you see, you got a DB on Hines because that's the type of receiver and route runner that he is. Titans have gotten virtually no pressure on Matt Ryan since really early in the second quarter. Ryan 17 of 26 for 237. On third down three. Ryan takes the snap. Firing complete to Doolin. Doolin breaks a tackle at the 48 and is taken down at the 45. Fulton was trying to strip him, couldn't do it, and Long finally had to put him on the ground. Yeah, and the third down conversion just with a little stop route. 4-10 remaining in the third. The issue is, here is you're giving him third and manageable. Taylor, 16 carries, 40 yards on the left hip of Ryan. He gets a carry at right guard, bouncing away from one Titan, but not a second. Schobert will make the tackle at the 42. It's a gain of three. They keep feeding him, expecting him to bust one, but also what they do, you keep feeding him, it's going to occupy your second-level defenders. That defense has been out on the field a long time in the third quarter. Go, 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 go. 
Ryan on second and seven. Goes under center. Goes a quick screen to Campbell, and the Titans play it brilliantly and take him to the ground. Loses some yardage. The man leading the charge was Byard. McCrary cleans it up, and now it's third down and nine at the 44. No, no, they played that very well. Now you've got to take advantage of that. You've got them third, you got them third and nine. You've got to take advantage of this, this part of the field. You would think Frank Reich is thinking two downs here if he needs them. I agree with you. Ryan standing on the horseshoe in the shotgun. On third and nine, Titans come with pressure up the middle, throw across the middle, great catch. And it's a first down at the 35 yard line as McCrary is able to make the tackle on Doolin. Ball was slightly behind him but Doolin made a really nice grab. Doolin beat him across his face. That's why there was separation there. At the Titans, 35 with 2.13 to go. Tennessee cannot get off the field on defense. Looking for some play somewhere to change the momentum. Taylor up the middle, long, shoots the gap and takes him down for a loss back to the 36. John, yeah, that's exactly what you have to do. They're gonna keep feeding him. You've got to keep stopping him. You cannot let up when they're feeding this back. Taylor comes out of the game. Hines is in there. They love to throw to Hines. Hines on the year, 16 catches for 116 yards. He's on the right hip of Ryan. With a minute and a half left in the third. Second and 11. Ryan with a deep drop. Hit. Lost the ball. It's out. The Titans trying to get on it. The Colts trying to get on it. There's a fight back at the 49-yard line. And I think the Colts have retained possession. Pryor fell on it. But it's a sack for the Titans. It's Autry again, his second of the game. And that's one hundred dollars for habit or for second harvest food bank from Kroger, the official tailgate headquarters of the Tennessee Titans. Through its zero hunger, zero waste plan, Kroger is committed to ending hunger in our communities. Massive loss of fourteen, so it's now third and twenty-six. Thirty-five seconds to go in the quarter. Ryan dropping, floating it out. Alley Cox. And Byard will get him on the ground at the 39-yard line. So it brings up fourth and 15. And the Colts may let this quarter run out before figuring out what they're going to do. Eight seconds. The punt team is coming out. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. The quarter is over. So we'll see what the Colts do when the fourth quarter begins. The Titans clinging to a 24 to 17 lead at Indianapolis after 45 minutes. Time to check more scores with an update. The Jaguars have the early lead, but surrender 20 straight in Philly. Eagles lead at 20-14. Houston trails at home against the Chargers, a 27-14 deficit. Earlier today, the Vikings with a 25-22 win over New Orleans in London. Baltimore led 20-3. Buffalo's made it a one-score game. It's 20-13. Atlanta on top of Cleveland, 17-13. It's Dallas, 15. Washington, 7. Seattle, 31-23 over Detroit. The Giants lead the Bears, 14-12. The Steelers lead the Jets, 13-6. Kenny Pickett in the game his nfl debut his first pass and interception before he scored a rushing touchdown in the third quarter the indianapolis colts had the ball for 10 45 and out gained the titans 106 to 2 for the game colts 278 on offense 35 rushing 243 passing titans 217 overall 115 rushing 102 passing Colts are going to punt, apparently, to begin the fourth quarter. Titans leave their defense on the field. The veteran Hawk with an end-over-ender, and that is going to go out of bounds 
well upfield than what he wanted. Not a good putt by Matt Hawk. Out of bounds at the 20. What a break for the Titans as Matt Hawk has a 19-yard punt on play number one of quarter four. Some... Matt Hawk had a chance to pin the Tennessee Titans deep. Instead, he does not hit the punt well, and the Titans will start at their own 20. Tennessee trying to get some offense going after running just six plays in the third quarter. Yeah, not enough. They need traction here offensively in this fourth quarter, and this is the time to start getting some traction. You got a little bit of a break with that horrendous punt. Now we need to take advantage of it. Eight in the box for the Colts. Set up to stop Henry. Tannehill under center. Long count. Gives Henry. Tries to go around right end and is taken down for a big loss. Back to the 16. Rodgers had him out there and went straight for his shoelaces. Smart tackle by Rodgers. Yeah, they had everybody bunched in there. He tried to bounce it, and as you said, Rodgers played perfect leverage on it. If he gets around Rodgers, he's still running. He's still running. Loss of four. Henry now back under 100. 17 for 99. More importantly, the Titans face second down at 14. Tannehill dropping, looking, firing, complete to Burks. And Burks is across the 20, the 25, and Franklin tackles him at the 26. Hilliard will check in on what is a big third down. Titans four of eight on third downs. They need nearly five yards. Titans lead 24 to 17, 345 to go. They break the huddle with 12 on the play clock. Tannehill, empty backfield. Takes the snap. Tannehill, looking, in trouble, gets away. Trying to run for it, and he will be taken down short of the first down by Franklin at the 28-yard line. The Titans go three and out again. Burks is down at the 40-yard line. Did not see what happened with Burks because Mike, we were watching the ball. Mike, he got hurt on the previous play on the catch. Fourth down and two. And the Titans will have to punt it back to the Colts with 13-10 remaining. Timeout on the field for the Traylon Burks injury. It's helped off the field, not able to put weight on his left leg. And so we will check on that certainly with Amy Wells on the sidelines. Ryan Stonehouse on fourth and two. Looking into the sun will be Naheem Hines to catch this punt. 24 to 17, the Titans lead over the Colts. 13 16 remaining. Snap to Stonehouse is good, punt is away. High spiral. Chases Hines and will take a bounce at the 18. The Titans will down it at the 22. Excellent punt, Stonehouse. And better yet, no chance for Hines to run with it. No chance for the return. Nice job of flipping the field. Defense, you've got to get in there and stop him. So Matt Ryan comes back out. A sack in the last series stymied the Colts drive he's 21 of 30 for 263 Stonehouse a 50 yard punt with no return Ryan in the shotgun Ryan looks to throw it Fires down the middle, ball is caught by Ali Cox. Breaks the tackle to the 40, to the 50. Dragging Fulton all the way to the Titans 43 yard line. Play good for 35 yards, make it 34 as they'll move it back to the 44. 
And here are the Colts making big plays. You couldn't allow these chunks. Couldn't allow the chunk, the chunk plays, and especially these tight ends have been an issue all day. By the way, we can see from here, Traylon Burks headed into the locker room on a cart. We'll keep you posted. Going to give it to Taylor on the left side. Strong will grab him from behind and take him down for no gain. It's second down and 10 with 12 minutes remaining in the game. Twenty-four to seventeen. Titans led this game midway through the second quarter, twenty-four to three. And now they're fighting for their lives to get a big division win. But the Colts are attacking. Three receivers to the right. Fired right side. The ball is caught by Pierce. Yes. They will say he held on to it at the 39-yard line. It brings up third down at five. Barley covering. You got to think this is four-down territory for him here. Ryan. Keeping Taylor in the backfield with him on his right hip. On third down, Ryan fires the slant. Pierce catches it. Should have the first down inside the 35-yard line. Farley with the tackle. But again, the chains move. They will give him inside the 34, which is all he needs. Pierce, the second-round pick out of Cincinnati, big receiver. Very excited about what he can do. He's made some good catches in this game. 10-20 remaining. Ryan dropping, stepping up, getting away. Going to run it be decked by McCrary at the 31. Gain of two on the play. I thought he was still going to look downfield, try to pull the trigger. Didn't have anybody open. He did not intend to carry that ball. <laughs> He has not run a lot in his career. Matt Ryan, 487 carries for 1,469 yards. It's not a great average. No, not what he wants to do. But he's thrown for over 60,000, which is excellent. There we go. Second down, quick throw, left side, Campbell breaks a tackle, gets away from a Titan and is finally taken to the ground as he gets down to the 24. Long makes the stop, it's third and one. And now Long is having to bounce up. Titans shifting in defensive line personnel. They are playing this game with one guy listed on their roster as an outside linebacker, and that's Weaver. Power left. Ryan moves Granson to the right on third down and one. Gonna give it to Taylor on the left side. He's got the first down as he picked up about a yard. Ball come out. Ball came out. Tight ball! Yes! They ripped it away from Taylor, who had fumble problem while at Wisconsin, and Fulton came out of the pile with the ball. By the defense. Time out. Wow! What a break for the Titans. 8.40 to go as the defense stands tall in quarter number four. The Titans continuing to lead this one 24 to 17. The newest Titan, Joe Schobert, is credited for ripping the ball away from Jonathan Taylor, his 11th career forced fumble, recovered by Christian Fulton, and the Titans take over at their own 22. Couldn't have come at a better time. Titans need a first down. 
box is tight. Play fake. Looking. Rolling to his right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. He'll throw it away. There is a flag down upfield at the 32-yard line. They may have gotten Franklin for a grab. Prior to the pass, holding defense number five. It's a five yard penalty and an automatic first down. Instead, they get Gilmore. By the way, with Burks in the locker room with an apparent left foot or ankle or knee, we don't know what it is. It's a leg injury. The Titans don't have a lot of receivers either. Westbrook Akine, who's had a quiet day, is wide to the right. First and 10 at the 27. Play fake, Tannehill looking, throwing it to Henry at the 30. Henry is taken down by Okereke at the 35 yard line. Yeah, they're in, they're in 22 personnel, then they had two tights and just a single receiver just trying to get Henry one on one out there on the grass. Gate of eight. It'll be second down and two. We go under eight minutes remaining. Titans lead by seven. High formation. Tannehill gonna give it to Henry on the left side. He bounces it to the 40 and is out to the 42. First down, Tennessee. No, that was a, that was a grown man run right then because they were coming after him on the defensive side of it. He just kept running right through them. Midway through the fourth quarter, Henry back over 100 with that run. He also has three catches for 33 yards, 18 for 106 now. Get official word on Traylon Burks, foot injury, he is out. Titans at the 42-yard line. Tannehill. Gives it to Henry, straight up the gut. Henry drags tacklers outside the 45. Gained a four and a little more. It'll be second and six with 6.50 remaining in the clock counting. Spread the defensive front out then uh, with some numbers plus splits, which means they're split out wide for the numbers. So they're just concentrating on one-on-one -on -one between the tackles. Okereke with another stop. Titans now have a three tight end set. They motion a cock low to the right. Eight in the box. Nearly a missed handoff as Tannehill, I think, bumped his fullback. Yeah, look, that wasn't clean. It wasn't clean back there to that second level. Buckner blew it up. And Henry is tackled for a loss back to the 44. It's third down and eight, with six minutes remaining in the game. Hooper and Woods to the right. Westbrook Akine now goes right. Hilliard in the backfield. Tannehill dropping, looking, in trouble, and he is sacked. He gets buried back at the 35-yard line by Quiddy Pay. You know, that thing collapsed around him way, 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 way too quick. Well, when the quarterback has to double over and cover up, that means he's got no chance. No, no chance. Stonehouse to punt it. And again, looking into the sun is Hines. 24 to 17, Titans lead, 5.04 to go. Fourth and 17, snap is good, punt is away, another missile. Hines racing to his left, catches it at the 10. Titans try to set up, he's got the 15, he's got the 20, they trip him at the 25. Making the tackle there is Haskins, there is a flag down back at the line of scrimmage.
Holding. Kicking team number 46. A 10 yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down. So the Colts will start at their own 34. 446 to go. Ads show the Colts having outgained the Titans by 99 yards. 332 to 233. The difference in the ball game, however, three takeaways by the Titans defense. Absolutely right. That's the difference. That's why Tennessee still leads this game 24 to 17 with 446 remaining. Both teams with all three timeouts. Hines in the backfield. Jonathan Taylor is out of the game right now. Hines the better receiver. Play fake, Ryan fires right side incomplete, intended for Pierce. Farley with good coverage, very physical. That's what they want to see out of Caleb Farley. Yeah, absolutely. He just got to, he's got to continue to challenge him. That's what the league's about: is challenging your one-on-one -on -one matchups. Second down and ten. Here comes Kalu. Here comes Weaver. Out goes Schobert and Tart at the 34-yard line. Matt Ryan, 25 of 35 for 315. He drops. He's under pressure. He steps up. He goes deep downfield for Pierce. Farley can't find the ball. Pierce catches it at the 25 and is tackled at the 22. Farley had good coverage and then just got lost. Completely got lost at the top of the route. There's an explosive play that you can't afford to give up, but you just did. 4.18 to go. Ryan looked like he was going to be sacked as he slipped. And Weaver couldn't get him. Gain of 44. Going to give a carry to Hines. And Hines will be taken down. Basically no gain on the play. Tart leading the charge at second and ten. 348 and counting. Titans with a precarious seven point lead. Pittman and Campbell wide to the left. Woods and Doolin wide to the right. Hyde stays in the backfield. Ryan with the pocket collapse and throws it. Hines catches it in the left flat. And McCrary makes a great tackle. But let's face it, Coach, it was the pressure that caused that play. Well, the pressure caused it to come out quick, but that is a great tackle on a really elite athlete in space by McCrary. Great tackle. Third down, 13. Titans going to bring in Mario Edwards, Jr. to rush the passer. Under three minutes remaining now. Three receivers to the right. Woods is wide to the left. Ryan dropping. Under pressure. Sack! Third time today, Danico Autry. That Kroger sack for cash beats $100 to Second Harvest Food Bank. Kroger, the official tailgate head headquarters of the Tennessee Titans. Through its zero hunger, zero waste plant, Kroger is committed to ending hunger in our communities. They're going to try a long field goal, are the Colts, on fourth down and 21. About to go to the two-minute warning. Timeout on the field. Confused? I'm confused. I'm with you. They stop play, no indication of a timeout from either sideline. The clock was running. Timer, please reset the game clock to 2 minutes, 10 seconds. Why? And the play clock to 13. We needed to respot the ball. Thank oh, okay. You. Oh, that, okay. That's fair. This is going to be a 51-yard field goal. With 2.10 to go. Got to watch Mo Alley Cox. He is the outside man on the right. McLaughlin for 51. It's 
snap, set. McLaughlin's kick is up, and the kick is no good. So we hit the two-minute warning with a minute 58 to go. The Titans will take over at their own 41-yard line, still leading 24-17. to The Titans have the ball trying to hold on to this 24-17 lead. We'll have stats, scores, and a full recap of Tennessee and Indianapolis. Titans Radio's Locker Room Report is coming up in a few minutes. Indianapolis has dominated the second half. I mean, just absolutely dominated it. They've outgained the Titans 183 to 18, and yet they only have seven points to show for it. They trail 24 to 17, a minute 58. Two first downs wins it for the Titans here. I formation. Colts jumping around on defense. Tannehill gives it to Henry around the right side. Henry is taken down inbounds at the 44, gain of three. Tackle by Franklin. Timeout, Indianapolis, 153 remaining. Henry did not get a very good spot. They actually pull it back to the 43-yard line, so it's a gain of two. It'll be second down and eight. Hey, what Henry did do then is took it to the outside to run more time off that clock. It stayed in bounds. Both of those. Ooh. Henry, 21 carries, 110 yards, three catches, 33 yards. Last week, 143 from scrimmage. This week, 143 from scrimmage so far. Second down. Colts with eight in the box. Henry on the right side again. Henry 45, maybe tripped by his own man, taken down at the 49-yard line. Timeout, Indianapolis. Now they're going to bring in Dylan Radens as an extra tight end. He is reporting eligible. Oh, well, he did it again. They move the ball back to the 47. We're too high up here to affect that. Initially spot 29. A Akakwo is lined up at tailback on third down at four. Henry is offset. Tannehill rolls, throws a Kakwo, he's got it! Inbounds at the 46-yard line of the Indianapolis Colts! That, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is a first down for your Tennessee Titans! Final timeout, Indy with a minute 42 remaining. Yeah, I understand what happened with that draw. Chick Akakwo grew up today. Yeah, but the running back, Henry, was at fullback. They ran that reverse, tried to hand it to him, brought everybody in there, nobody outside. Great, great job by Conquo, concentrated on it, getting it, really clean play. That was a clutch, clutch play call and a clutch, clutch execution. And staying in bounds as well. The crowd streams for the exits at Lucas Oil Stadium as Ryan Tannehill prepares to take a knee. There's one, a minute 40 and counting. Play clock at 40. He'll have to do it two more times. If you are the Indianapolis Colts, you are going to walk away from this game having no idea how you lost. I don't care. I don't care about the Colts. I hope the Colts feel as bad as humanly possible. And they've got to go play Thursday night in Denver. Good luck. Tannehill, not to them. Under center, takes a knee. He'll have to do it one more time. A minute six and counting. A gut check AFC South win for the Tennessee Titans. <laughs> wow. That, now that right there is an understatement of the year. You score on your first four possessions of the game. You miss a chance at the end of the first half to kick a field goal. 
because you run out of time as Tannehill takes the final knee, and that's it. And the Tennessee Titans have won for the fourth straight year at Lucas Oil Stadium. Final score, Tennessee 24, Indianapolis 17. As the Titans come to Indiana, and for the fourth time in a row, get it done again. <laughs> Titans football 2022 on top.